You're watching Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Welcome to your Local 5 Saturday News Bite. I'm Laris Leone, and before we bring you today's top stories, let's check in with Local 5 meteorologist Hannah Dennis with a quick look at your forecast. Hannah, it is cold. Yes, it is cold today. It was cold yesterday and it's going to be continuing with the cold going into Sunday and Monday. Then things slowly start to get better. Unfortunately, we're going to see these cold temperatures appear once again, but you can see that Wednesday is going to be a very nice day. Now, as far as wind chill goes, as we are going through tonight and into tomorrow morning, you can see that wind chill is going to get down into those single digits below zero for northern Iowa. So it is going to be another very chilly night and early morning on Sunday. So we are going to be continuing with those wind chills, but it's going to get a little bit better as we go on throughout the day on Sunday. The wind is going to get lighter and you can see that more of us will feel like we're in the teens and 20s instead of the single digits. So that's going to be a very welcomed change as we are going into a new week. Now there is a chance for some snow to go into the new week. So as we go from now until that snow arrives, we're looking at a chance to see some snow late Sunday night into Monday morning. You can see by 2 a.m. Monday morning there is an area of some snow showers moving across the state. It sticks with us into Monday morning. You can see 6 a.m. on Monday. So for that morning commute, you might want to be extra careful on the roads. There could be some slick spots since our temperatures are staying below zero as this happens. After that, those clouds will start to disperse throughout the night on Monday and then by Tuesday we'll get to see some sun. Now, as far as how much snow we're talking about, I'll show you a couple different models. First model shows two tenths of an inch for central Iowa. Then as we go into the next model, a little bit more. And then the third model, even more than that, but all stay below an inch for this first round of snow that we are going to be seeing. So we'll at least get to see a dusting of snow and a little bit of snowfall across majority of the state as we are starting out a new week. Now tonight we're going to get down to 13 13 degrees overall a cold night, maybe some flurries, but it's not going to be anything too impactful. Then Sunday, 26 degrees for your high. Those clouds are going to start building in throughout the day. We're going to see some snow as we go late into Sunday into Monday morning. And then as we go through the next seven days, we warm up on Tuesday, 35 degrees. Wednesday is going to feel like a very nice day with 45 degrees. Then our temperatures drop once again. We're going to have this roller coaster of up and down going throughout the next 10 days. You can see we'll get back up into those 40s by next Sunday, but then we'll start going back down into those 30s again. However, that following week, there could be another chance for us to see some snow across the state. Hannah, thank you. Well, Des Moines police have arrested three people in connection to the death of 65-year-old Bruce May. According to police, May was found dead in his apartment on Forest Avenue last Thursday. His hands were tied behind his back with an electrical cord around his throat and his face was injured. Police announced today they arrested Dupree Tribble, Charles Adams, and Alexander Jewitt after looking at video evidence from the scene. Jewitt and Tribble are both facing robbery and burglary charges. Adams faces the same, along with six other charges that include attempted murder of a peace officer, and that's after officials say he fought back and attempted to shoot at officers during his arrest. Shops are expected to be extra busy this holiday season. People are rushing to buy certain products before President-elect Donald Trump's tariffs take effect. Sassy's Boutique in Valley Junction fears that their apparel from Canada and Mexico will cost more to import. If that happens, the small business will likely have to increase prices for customers. Economists told Local 5 that clothing, electronics and produce will be most impacted. The prices for those products could rise by as much as 60 percent. And tonight after the game, Local 5's Alex Fulton will show us the precautions Sassy's Boutiques is now taking. Well, now that we're in the holiday season, Mainframe Studios is making sure you have plenty of options for gifting this year. It's hosting holiday art markets with handcrafted pieces from more than 200 artists. The first took place during Small Business Saturday today. The second is taking place Saturday, December 14th. 
This year marks 35 years since the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation hit the box office. And in celebration, the Bridgeview Center in Ottumwa is hosting a special screening with a very special guest, actor Chevy Chase. He played uh, Clark Griswold in the Holiday Classic. The screening is Sunday, December 15th, followed by a live conversation and Q&A with Chase. And doors open at 4 p.m. The screening starts at 5 and tickets start at just $29. You know, that is just one of the holiday classics. You have to watch it every year. And uh, to think Chevy Chase is coming all the way to Iowa. That's just amazing, isn't That's it? That's really cool. Yeah, it kind of makes awesome up for this screening. cold weather, I'd say. It's going to be perfect for this Chevy cold Chase weather. Chevy Chase to warm yeah. you up. <laughs> all righty. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you right back here after the game.